In this video, we're going to talk about assessing intercoder reliability. Coders must be trained. It's an iterative process. Individual differences in interpretation when having more than one coder code a project often occurs despite explicit coding rules. To mitigate this, you can ask different coders to code the same content and then compare the coding to uncover differences in interpretation, clarify ambiguous rules, identify ambiguity in the text, and then ultimately quantify the final level of agreement obtained by the coders. The intercoder agreement procedure can involve requirements that are not always compatible with the qualitative data analysis process. Computing intercoder agreement requires that all coders share the same codebook. Prior segmentation of documents to be coded can solve the issue of the number of coded segments, their lengths and locations varying from one coder to another. QDI Miner allows you to circumvent some of the constraints imposed by the intercoder agreement procedure by providing different levels of agreement and by relaxing the criterion used to establish overlap in the segments. There are two ways to set up a project for multiple coders. You can make multiple copies of an uncoded project. However, prior to duplicating the project and distributing it amongst coders, you must create user accounts for each coder set so that they must log on. It's also advised to disable the coder's ability to modify documents and the codebook. Once coding is complete, you can then merge the project into a single master project. Please see the video on merging QDA minor projects for detailed instruction. You can also proceed without making duplicates of the project by creating different user accounts for each coder, set so that they must log on, and also so that they cannot see each other's coding. Again, it's advised to disable the coder's ability to modify the document and the codebook. Merging is not necessary as all coders are coding a single instance of the same project. You can now move on to assessing intercoder agreement. In order to access the intercoder agreement procedure, you must have the right to view codes created by others. If you don't have this right, ask the administrator to change your account settings so that you can. Choose Coding Agreement from the Analyze menu. You can set the document variable that you want to analyze. In this case, we only have one. You can also choose the codes you'd like to analyze from the drop-down menu. You can select the coders for which you want to assess the coding agreement. At least two coders must be selected. If more than two coders are selected, the agreement table will be calculated on all possible pairs of coders, provided that they have coded the same documents. By default, this option is set to include all coders. We'll just use admin and normal, and we'll remove guest. You can now choose the agreement criterion. This option checks whether coders agree on the presence of specific codes in a document, regardless of the number of times this code appears and regardless of the code location. The agreement is calculated on a dichotomous value that indicates whether the code is present or absent. This option checks whether coders agree on the number of times specific codes appear in a document. This criterion does not take into account the specific location of the codes in the document. The agreement is calculated by comparing the observed frequency per document for each coder. This option allows you to assess whether coders agree on the relative importance of a code in the document. This kind of agreement is achieved by comparing for a given code the percentage of words in the document that have been tagged as instances of this code. The proportion of agreement on this percentage is then used as a measure of agreement. This last level of agreement is the most stringent criterion of agreement since it requires the coders to agree not only on the presence, frequency, and spread of specific codes, but also on their location. When this option is selected, you need to provide a minimum overlap criterion expressed in percentage. By default, this criterion is set to 90%. If the codes assigned by both users overlap each other on 90% of their length, 
then these codes will be considered to be in agreement. If the percentage of overlap is lower than 90%, the program will consider them to disagree. In the first three criteria, the absence of a code is considered to be in agreement. With code overlap, it's not. Please be sure to read the corresponding section of the user guide for a more detailed explanation of the agreement criteria along with examples. The simplest measure of agreement for nominal level variables is the proportion of concordant codings out of the total number of codings made. Unfortunately, this measure often yields falsely high values because it does not take into account chance agreement that occur from guessing. QDI Minor provides you with this measure and additionally provides you with three statistics that can be applied to correct for the chance factor. You have the free marginal, Scott's pi, and Krippendorf's alpha. Again, please take a look at the user guide for a detailed description of each. We'll choose free marginal. And the frequency of codes in case. The table at the bottom of the dialog lists the agreement. You have the code name, the number of times users agree on the absence of a code in a document. This column will be blank if using code overlap. The agree present column shows the number of times users agree on the presence of a code in a document. When assessing agreement on code frequency or code importance, this column displays the sum of all proportions of agreement calculated for each document. The disagree column shows the number of times that users disagreed on the presence of a code in a document. And also, when assessing disagreement on code frequency or code importance, this column displays the sum of all proportions of disagreement calculated for each document. The percent column reports the percentage of agreement observed between coders. This is calculated by dividing the total number of agreements by the total number of comparisons possible. That's agreement plus disagreement. This measure does not take into account chance agreements that occur from guessing and can yield falsely high values, especially when assessing less stringent levels of agreement. The last column will be the statistic you've chosen to apply that corrects for chance. And the list of hits tabs displays a list of all codings that were used to assess the intercoder agreement. Please remember to consult the user guide for a more detailed description of the intercoder agreement process.